to that point all I had really heard was like hillbilly music bluegrass music my grandmother played uh, Hawaiian guitar mandolin you know my uncle Chancy played the banjo and it just they used to get together on Saturday nights and, and then my mother got me a transistor radio the original wireless you know that you could you could put it in your pocket put batteries in it put the pods in your ears and, and I started listening to WJET in the area listening to Beach Boys and the Four Seasons and liking all this stuff. And I really took an interest in music, learning to sing the songs off the radio. And so for my 13th birthday, this would just coincidentally happened to be the weekend after uh, President Kennedy was shot. Um, that, that, uh, that very next week was my birthday, the day before Thanksgiving. And uh, she came up to me, she said, we're gonna turn 13 this year. I've noticed that you, you know, you've been taking an interest in the music. She used to be a hillbilly singer before I was born, and then she quit. I, I think that was my dad's idea. Um, so she said, well, I want to, want to know what you want for your 13th birthday. Would you rather have a guitar or a tape recorder? And I thought about it, and I said, if I got a tape recorder, I could tape record the songs off the radio, and then I could listen to them whenever I wanted to, and I could learn the songs a lot quicker if I could just play them. I said, well, Mom, I think I'd rather have the tape recorder. And she said, well, it's too late. We already bought the guitar. <laughs> so, honest, that's the truth. And so she taught me four chords and 20 Hank Williams songs and thought that she had got me on the right track. And the very next week, the Beatles came out with, I want to hold your hand on the radio. Oh and that was, according to my father, that was my downfall. <laughs> I was I was lost, but, but before my mom passed away, she wasn't doing so well. She was under hospice care, and each one of us kids are six in our family. We'd take turns going up and sitting with her and fixing lunch and watching TV. Or I was watching them. She had the RFD channel, the country channel. Some old country singer got up there, and he started singing the song. I said, "Oh yeah, I know this song." And it turns out I didn't. It sounded like a song that I knew, and it was so weirded out. And I thought, i got to learn this song. And so I, uh, I looked it up on the internet. Well, here it turns out it's a, it was a country western song. It was uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky. Oh, I love it. But it had different words. And it turns out that the different words were copyrighted back in the 50s by the Boy Scouts of America. It was a campfire song that they used to sing around the campfire for fun. And uh, I don't care. i got to learn this song. This is... This is Chicken farmer went out one dark and dreary day. He stopped to sit beside the coop to break along the way. When all at once a rotten egg hit him in the eye, it was a sight he dreaded. Those chickens in the sky. Those ghost chickens in the sky That farmer, he'd raised chickens since he was 24 He'd been working for the colonel some 30 years or more Raising all those chickens, then sending them to fry And now they want revenge those chickens in the sky.
them chickens was all dead. They picked the farmer up and they killed him with their claws. They cooked him extra crispy and served him with coleslaw. church and said well where you go to church right downtown in trinity park because in fort worth texas you can go to church outside all year round and we just used to get to a bunch of us younger people we'd get together and then the the city of fort worth they were doing a fourth of july celebration so they came down and they politely asked us to if we wouldn't have church in the park that sunday and of course being fine upstanding humble christians we said no, we're going to be there. <laughs> and uh, and he, he said, well, um, well, maybe, how about if we like let you sing a, a song for the, the service, the, for, for the, the memorial service? I said, well, yeah, we can do it. He said, now it has to be a patriotic song. I said, sure, no problem. So I did, uh, I did America the Beautiful, but I rewrote a couple of the verses and I got, got to sing this. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. America, God shed His grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining. Please don't believe the lies spoken in your name. They've silenced all the prayers in school and claim you are to blame. America, America. their lives but turn again to God and then He'll open up their eyes America how far to go before we bring 
down to do with sixty million citizens dead for they left the womb. Your Savior's name And He'll set your 